Every single year, people get conned into getting a brand new system prematurely. Now, sometimes a contractor will say, uh, your compressor is shot and you need a new system, when in reality, maybe it was a capacitor or some other minor problem, and they will totally sell you a brand new system. Now, not all HVAC companies are like this. Um, take this with a grain of salt but a lot of companies will take advantage to sell a system in a heartbeat. So I'm gonna show you something you can safely do yourself to check the compressor on your air conditioner to make sure that it's in good condition. You can tell if someone is lying by doing this test and checking it for yourself, and you can then get a second opinion and potentially save several thousand dollars on avoiding having to get a new system. Now the tool that we're gonna be using to do this test is the Supco Megometer. Now this tool is awesome in that it doesn't lie. We're gonna show you on a relatively new air conditioner how this works and see what condition the compressor is in. And then we're gonna show you on a 1985 system that I just pulled. I'm really curious to see the results, but I'm pretty sure the compressor is still in good shape as it was running when the customer removed it. This video is brought to you by FilterBuy, America's number one choice for quality, affordable air filters. All right, so here are the two units that we're gonna be demonstrating this on. Now, as you probably already know, the compressor is gonna be inside the center of your outdoor unit, or if you have a package system, it's gonna be directly under that fan, more than likely. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna show you on the Goodman. We're gonna take this whole lid off and set it aside so we can access the compressor. Now, before you do anything on your system, make sure that you pull the disconnect. Obviously with this, nothing is live since these are demo units, but if you're doing this live, just make sure to pull the disconnect so you don't have any power going to your system. So we're gonna lift this straight up and we're gonna be careful not to damage these wires. A lot of times when you pull this, um, you'll have these wires really tight. You don't want to get these too tight and pull them out from their connectors. So just look for a way that you can kind of um, prop this up so that we can access the compressor. All right, so as you can see, we now have access to the compressor. Now on a Goodman, you'll notice that there's a little quarter inch uh, screw. So we'll take this screw off and this will simply pop up and we'll see the terminals. On other systems, you might have a plug that simply pulls out on the side of the compressor, um, but all you need to do is access the three pins on your compressor, and then we can check that compressor. Okay, so before we get into how to use this on our unit, I just wanna kind of briefly explain what this actually does. A magometer basically uses a small amount of current. So we have two C batteries. These are purchased separately, by the way. And it sends a small amount of current through the windings of each of those terminals on the compressor, and it checks the insulation value of those windings. So again, this tool does not lie. It tells you whether it's good or bad. And again, we're gonna check it on a relatively new system and a really old system and see what difference that makes. So now that we have access to our wires here, we're just gonna start with this winding with the red wire. So we're gonna pull that off. We're gonna take our red lead, put it on that terminal, and then we'll take this one, and I'm gonna try and put it on this bare uh, nut over here that guarantees that it has a good ground. So we'll press this button and see what we got. This one is definitely in the caution area. As you can see, it's slowly going down to good, but it's in that area between caution and good for sure. You wanna leave this on for 20 to 30 seconds to get a good reading. So we are still in the good, but as you can see, it took a minute to get there. We'll remove this yellow one next, and we'll try that one. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. Same thing, started out with bad, slowly go through the caution area, and we are just barely in the good. About the same as the last one. Lastly, we'll go to our black wire. Oh, it's going back up, back down. So we're still in the good, um, but this gives you an indication of what the status of this compressor is. So as you can see right here, this is a 2019 Goodman air conditioning unit. Now, even though this is a relatively new system, it does not mean that the compressor has a long life expectancy based off of what we just read. 
As you saw, it kind of hovered in the caution area before it finally dropped down to the good section. And that's a good indicator that maybe during the installation, they didn't pull a good vacuum on the system. Maybe they put some refrigerant, um, some used refrigerant in it that had some contaminants in it. All of those things can impact how long that compressor is going to last. Now let's get into our 1985 air conditioner. I'm really curious to see what the results on this one are gonna be. This is probably a brand that you guys have never even heard of. It's called a Fetters. Not sure if you can see it right there, but this is an 85 system. So it's well over 30 years old. And this was running when it was pulled. This was a customer replacement. They did an awesome job installed an ACIQ uh, heat pump. That's the reason why they replaced it. But let's go ahead and get the lid removed, get to the compressor to where we can check it out with this tool. So as you can see, this fan just has some clips that rest on this outer lip. Wow. That's all that was holding that in place. All right, so I don't know if you can see between these fins here, but our compressor is sitting right here. And we have this metal cap that we're just gonna pop off. All right, so now that we have that cover removed, we're just gonna pull one of these leads off. So we're gonna start with this white wire on our compressor. And again, we're gonna put our red lead on that terminal. And then we're gonna put the ground on this bare uh, bolt here, and that'll ground it out. As you can see, we went straight up to 1,000. Doesn't surprise me at all on this compressor. If it goes past 1,000 and this light is still on, then you know that your compressor is good. Let's do it one more time. Goes all the way to 1,000 and goes out. So that lead, or that winding rather, is perfectly good. And let's move on to this orange wire here. And then again, our ground is right here on this uh, bare thing right here. Just test it out. Lastly, let's do it on this last one. Same thing. So all of these on this compressor are 1000 mega ohms or greater. So this compressor is still good, even though it's 30 plus years old. This emphasizes a couple of things for us. First of all, they simply don't make things like they used to. Um, granted, this is an R22 system, so it's lower pressure, lower heat, and that contributes to having a system that's going to last a lot longer. But even so, um, you can tell that whoever installed this in 1985 did a really good job because the customer got 30 plus years, uh, well past the system's life expectancy out of this unit. So this is a tool that I use every single time I do a preventative maintenance for a customer, and it's an awesome tool to have. Whether you are a homeowner and you want to check out your own system, maybe help a friend out, or if you're looking to get into the trades, um, this is an awesome tool to have. Now, as always, if your system is running and you've been maintaining it pretty well, and an HVAC technician comes along and says you need a new system, they're kind of vague, I would absolutely 100% get a second or even a third opinion. Don't tell them what the other person told you because a lot of times, they feed on whatever the previous one said. So if the system wasn't bad to begin with and the first technician said it needs to be replaced and you tell that to the second one, they could feed into that and say, yeah, the, the previous people were right and it does need a new system. So hopefully this video has been helpful in determining whether or not you need to replace your system or even just having this on your mind in the future, preparing so that you know, instead of it being this rush thing that you're forced into and you don't have the money for. Something new to the channel is our monthly giveaways that I'm really excited about. Just to give you an idea of what you could win here, we're giving away a mini split system valued at about $1,500 to $2,000. For the month of May 2024, we're giving away a one-year supply of air filters from FilterBuy. We're giving away an easy generator switch so you can make sure that your furnace is powered in the event of a power outage. And we'll be giving away a few other awesome DIY tools. All you have to do to enter is go to the home screen, click the join button right here, 
and you'll see our two tiers. The first one is support the channel. It's $4.99 a month. And the second one is our HVAC training videos. Either of these membership tiers will automatically get you entered into our monthly giveaways. And I'm excited to start giving back to you awesome viewers. Now, everyone is interested in extending the life of their air conditioner to get the most use out of it. So make sure and check out these two videos where we walk you through how to replace a capacitor and how to properly clean your condenser coils. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.